Mm. Mm. Babe. Yo, this feels like this could be the intro song to one of my, like, there's, you know, those shows, those sitcoms that you grew up with. But, like, specifically the black ones. <laughs> the 90s ones. These harmonies, these melodies. Oh my goodness. The vocals. The crash. Wow. Love the layers. The synths are so. All right, hi, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back. Um, if you're new here, I am TK and this is TK Talks K Pop, where we do K Pop reaction videos out for some all the good jazz. But I just saw the title Triple S. They've come back with another subunit. Um, these subunits are coming like in with um, the frequency, like they're coming like one after another sooner than I always expect um, the newer ones to come out. But oh, we're not complaining. I've enjoyed everything I've heard from this project, um, at least like overall groups thus far. So um, you see by the title we're here today to get into um, Crystal Eyes. They are a mini album. Um, they delayed the MV. Oh shit! This shit was playing the entire. Sorry. They delayed the MV. Um, oh, I'm muted. And um, I was torn on whether or not I was going to wait to do this, but I'm just gonna do the first listen. Um, anyway, and when the MV comes out, then I'll, um, get into that, um, most likely. And I'll just skip the title track. Like, I'll do every B-side except for the title track, and who knows, maybe I'll enjoy this experience of, like, checking out the project even more than, you know, checking out the <laughs> title track and MV than whatnot. Maybe this will give me an idea. Maybe going into, I don't know, who knows how this will affect the, like, watching experience. But uh, I'm just going to do it today anyway, because I don't know if I'll have time to do the mini album. Like, but I know I have time today. So, <laughs> Cherry 100%. We're going to go right into this intro. Mmm. Mmm. Bass. Whoa, the production. Oh, this is about to be so good. Wow. Wow. The protection, the instrumentation is amazing. Whoa. Oh, this title track's about to be fire, isn't it? Mmm. Love all these elements mixed together. Um. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm just gonna move on to touch. Honestly, I move on to touch. I enjoy the instrumental intro. I move on to touch. Progression. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, this is very 90s. Wow. Mmm, good soul. Wow, the progressions. Mmm. The bass. Wow. Is it the synth in the back? The synth. Ooh. The progressions. <laughs> wow. You, I could literally like play this for some of my older family members and they'd be like, what? How is that? <laughs> the guitar. Ooh, I like this. This is very good for summer. Wow. 
face. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> the percussions are so lovely. Love the progression, the beat, the sweet chorus, with the lead in the back. It's so quiet, but it really suits it. Yo, this feels like this could be the intro song to one of my, like, those, you know, those shows, those sitcoms that you grew up with. But, like, specifically the black ones. <laughs> Woo! The percussion, the simps are so good. Ah, the kinds! Yo! Mmm! Wow. This sounds so good. <laughs> Vocals. The edits are whoa. Yeah, let's keep going with the edits. It's an electric guitar too. The the scratching, the record sketcher. Oh, that piano is lovely. Wow, a done a triple S, bruh. Triple S can be trusted with the soul, child. That was just so, I don't know. I don't know what to say other than everything was like, was just perfect. <laughs> it was just perfect. <laughs> Excuse me. It was just perfect. Like all the elements, like it went exactly where they needed to go. Like someone sat down with the intention of making a song exactly like that and everyone involved understood the assignment from the melodies, to the production to the progressions. Like it was just, it was so evocative of a very specific like type of sound and time period. And they really did it justice, in my opinion, at least, especially, especially with like those melodies and the vocals are just like, and just like the transitions from one section into the next, that was very smooth, very smooth. If you don't, I'm telling you, if I played that for some of my older family members, they would be like, oh shit. Oh, let's take it back! We love to see it. <laughs> We're just gonna move on. The next track is called Hide and Seek. Oh. I love that whistle. Oh, they do, they do. Yo, 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 yo! Okay. Girls, what's with this 90s? All this 90s stuff. How old is y'all? <laughs> oh my goodness. The production. <gasps> the 90s odds. Voice. Oh, the harmonies. Oh my goodness. Mm, the harmonies. Ah. Mm, oh my god. The 90s really. The whistle in the back. The whistle, the flute, or whatever. Hey, get it out <sighs> but it's got such modern elements too, like things like that. Oh. Girls, I'm impressed. Bro, right. this got me doing the stank face. I thought I heard my doorbell. Mm. 
Love the, the logos in the back. They make it very aversive. Yeah, that's the part. I'm sorry. Look at that. It's so good. The, the chanting. Oh, this is excellent. Royals. She's going off of the back. These melodies. Still going. We're in the nineties elements. Even this the scratching. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you don't get songs like this in K-pop very often, and even when you do, they, this is special. This is special, child. This is special, child. That was so excellent. You used to get a lot more often, but it's really something that kind of disappeared. Like, I don't know, like halfway through the third generation or like in the beginning of fourth gen. And now I just don't hear very many groups touch this sound with the exception of like T01. But I think they were, I think they were their old group name at the time. That's the only other group that... I feel like really did, that's really like recently done this type of sound. Like this type of sound, like in this type of sound be the point, mind you. A lot of groups have been using like 90s elements, like elements just like, like here and there, like the percussion or like some form of instrumentation or like the record scratches. Like a lot of people have been using the 90s, like um, kind of hip hop popular like elements in their tracks but not many have really like done this like full force like the point is the hip-hop r&b soul like 90s just like, like that's the point of the track mind you like and so not a lot of groups do this sound lately but they just did it so nicely they just did it so nicely they just did it so well it was so satisfying it's so satisfying. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. Bro. Bro, yes. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I like that one. Uh, the next track is called Deja Vu. Production is very bubbly. Wow. Melodies. Wow. Oh, I love that they she repeated it. Interesting. Wow. Wow! Do, 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 do. These harmonies, these melodies, oh my goodness. The vocals, so, mm. The production, it's so interesting. Wow, the guitar. Hey. It's got some disco elements, low key. Because mm. really. wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. It's so nice to hear. 
Donc, Dablis. The way they are singing is excellent. This feels like ugh. this feels like dancing at night in the summertime. I was about to say dancing in the moonlight. What's that? And actually, the song does have kind of similar vibes to that as well, doesn't it? What is that? Strings? The guitar? Wow. Sorry if you can hear them mowing lawn outside. Yo, that was so good. That was lovely. That was lovely. That really felt like a song that deserved to be called Deja Vu. We love to see it. We love to hear it. The production on that was magnifique. Magnifique. Bruh. Bruh. Their music. Their music is so nice. It's just so... Ooh. It's just so... Oh, I recognize some of these names. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> their music is just so atmospheric and full sounding and warm it just has layers to it and the quality is just no matter what has been like we've been listening to the quality is just so top notch like there's so much nuance and thought put into it and to the vocals in that one they were so nice oh my goodness that chorus was so dreamy but the pre-chorus on the bridge the production just this is my vibe this is my vibe i love that i love that that song didn't go where I thought it was going to go at times. I do. We love to hear it. Ba ba ba. We love to hear it. <laughs> We're gonna move on. Um, this this final track is called Dimension, Korean version, I guess. I assume. Um, I'm unfamiliar with any other version. Well, maybe maybe no. It's probably not for Korean. It's probably for Crystal Eyes. God damn it. <laughs> I'm under familiar with any other version. This might be a B-side off of um, their very first, the very first subunits mini album, which is the only one I feel like I haven't listened to. So um, I'm not sure if I should, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> <clears throat> so this will be my first time proper hearing the song. Mm. The instrumentation already. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, the way repeat. Mm, mm, this sense well. Ooh. All the sounds. Woo. This is mm. Wow. The production is insane, bruh. The layers. The sense, there's so much. The flow. Mm. Their voices are a little buried. If I had to say one thing about it though, wow. Whoa. Hey, the beat switch up. The crash, wow. Love the layers, the sense, there's so much. Ooh. Ooh. 
there's so much happening. But I love all of it. Distance here. This well. Whoa. Are those like strings? Under like a bunch of filters? Like they kind of have like the texture of strings a bit? What is happening, bruh? This is so good. The effect on her voice. Wow. Ooh, oh my goodness. The dreamy pre. Oh, look at this, the dreamy. I can't even speak. Bridge. The dreamy bridge. <sighs> There's so many layers to sense. Love how they filled it up the entire time for this one. Wow. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, so that's one of those. That's one of those legendary B sides. To, that's one of those landing. That's like. I always go back to pantomime because that's like the easiest example that to reach for in my head. That song, that one like B side that everyone agrees just is just the masterpiece off the album. Even if they don't necessarily vibe with it, they still agree that it's just the masterpiece off the album. I feel like this song gives me that vibes. Like, just the production, the layers, just all the, like, nuance, the little sounds, the way, oh my goodness, the melodies that since just, oh my goodness, it is so immersive, it just felt like the pre-chorus, and then the bridge, and then again, it had this, like, little weird, kind of just, like, a little bit ominous vibe to it as well, we love to hear it, but I don't... Oh, mind blown. I don't have much to say about that, honestly, and truly, because it's, what could you say to that? I, if there was one thing I could change about that song, I would have liked for their vocals to be a bit louder in that song, like, especially during that part during the chorus. I suspect that it's a stylistic choice and that it was kind of the point to have their vocals kind of be buried or, like, in the instrumental layer to, like, I feel like the point of it was to kind of give that since the song is called dimension i don't actually know the lyrics or and child i don't even know what the point is but <laughs> i suspect that it like in my head i can imagine it being the point to give a kind of like otherworldly nature to their vocals to kind of let them be buried by all the instrumentation a little bit during that part but i don't know just for me personally i would have preferred to hear their voices a little louder but it didn't affect my enjoyment of the song anyway, though, so girl, at the end of the day, it don't even matter. So, <laughs> it's just something I noticed, but we love to see it. Oh, my goodness. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. Let me pick a second favorite. Deja Vu might actually be my second favorite. Like I said, I haven't heard the title track yet because I'm waiting for the MV to come out. So, and it's been a bit of a weird experience to listen to the B-sides without having heard the title track first, but... I think I feel like I feel like I enjoyed doing it anyway. I feel like this I'll be able to go into the title track knowing bro actually these songs have been so good that my expectations for the title track are actually quite sky high now so <laughs> so maybe it won't work out who knows Either way, these will go up on the same day. If you guys have this far, thank you so much for dealing with me and whatever this was over Triple S Crystal Eyes. Um, let me know what your favorite was down below. Let me know what your thoughts. Uh, let me know the scoop on Dimension. I'm pretty sure. It, it has to be from the only mailing album. I haven't done a proper first listen to it yet. So, um, and that was the first one. But um, anyways, y'all. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.